when I was growing up, maybe around like 10, 11, 12, my next door neighbor had a camera. She was like, I mean, that was the time when like people would, like there was somebody in the family who took all the photos kind of a deal. And so my next door neighbor, my, my friend's mom was that person like kind of in the neighborhood. So she had an SLR and I just remember being kind of fascinated with it. I don't know, I really liked framing things and like looking through it. And so I borrowed that a handful of times. I became pretty consumed with it when I took a darkroom class in high school. Uh, yeah, probably around that time, like 15, 16, 17, I got really into it. And then it wasn't until I left high school and I was trying to like figure out what my purpose in life was or whatever, that I decided like making art was like a, a good use of time or something. So I guess I kind of focused a little bit more on it after that. I don't care about digital photography at all. It doesn't mean much of anything to me. It just doesn't seem real or, or tan like it doesn't have a lot of depth. I would look at the images on the computer or whatever and then I don't know what you're supposed to do with them after that. And you can't really zoom in that much. And then once you do start zooming in, there's the weird, there's like the digital noise kind of. But even then, I don't know. I don't like that it goes to the computer first and then that's the, and then you go from there. Like, I don't care about that. It doesn't mean anything to me. I, I still feel confident in that I like the, um, the authorship from beginning to end that I can have with film photography. I can be in charge of all of the steps in the production of the final image. And that just makes sense to me, like to my brain. But, so it starts off right there, like at the, before you take the photo, you like get an idea of what you want the photo to look like at the end of the whole process. And then it goes through the journey of the processing, um, processing the film, and then looking at the negatives and trying to kind of like resolve what you had in mind with like what you can do with the negative that you've kind of gotten. And then going into the dark room and like whittling things down, I don't know, all that stuff. And then getting really mad at the print and stepping away from it for a while and then coming back and like working on it again, all that stuff. Me and me playing with photography, I like something about like how I feel like I'm very opinionated and I feel like I'm right all the time and I want to tell people what is right. I feel like I could do that with photography. My photography is just like looking at the world and saying, oh no, and like putting it in the best light I feel like I can. So then I can show somebody this is what it's meant to look like or this is what it's supposed to be, even if it's not really the way it always looks.